Hey LinkedIners, Alex here with an update on Sales Navigator. You may well have seen uh, the uh, noise around account IQ and uh, relationship map. Uh, account IQ is still in beta, so if you are seeing this, it's because um, your uh, license holding is probably too large in terms of seats. Uh, speaking to the team, this is being uh, currently tested on a small number of seats uh, while they make sure everything is uh, in order before rolling out uh, more widely on December the 6th, 2023. However, the other update which has caught my attention, and I believe this is going to be uh, very, very useful for those that manage uh, large enterprise accounts and certainly those of uh, our colleagues in professional services and business development, uh, this is going to be uh, really, really helpful. And what they have done here is you can start to build out your um, your map, uh, but I'll come back to this in terms of you can now start to do relationship scoring, as it were. Certainly, this is a common theme within professional services where you're asking fee earners to um, map out their contacts. Who do we know? Who do we want to get to know? What role do they play? And how well do we uh, know them? Uh, one thing which I believe they should be doing is if you've already created lead lists, it would be good for um, those to be pre-populated. They are not um, there yet. Maybe that'll be coming through. However, if you want to start building out your um, map, I'd go to lists, go to quick add, and then keyword search. You know I'm a big fan of keyword searching. So if I want to find folk with artificial uh, intelligence, for example, in their profiles, here are the AI uh, folk. And just for um, the purposes of speed, I'm just going to add these individuals uh, here. So you can see what is going on and it's super easy. And then from here, we can then go who is the manager. So if you know who they uh, report into, but the role we can add in terms of what do they do? What is their role within this? So again, just for the purposes of this demo, walking through the varying things that we can uh, add in that are relevant to uh, to you of course this is um subjective at the at the moment and then you can also look at relationship strengths which again is going to be uh, subjective in terms of uh, how this uh, all uh, works so just put this in here medium strong and let's go uh weak and you can also, if we uh, just scroll across here, you can assign to your colleagues so you can collaborate across this and you can add notes. If you've got CRM sync across Salesforce Dynamics or HubSpot, you can push this directly into CRM as, um, as well. From here, this then generates the map. And uh, those of you that are on Dynamics, you may well be familiar with this because what you can then do is just drag and drop people and start to create uh, hierarchy trees which may be of use to you in terms of when you, how you know that the buying persona works, et cetera, um, et cetera. So really helpful, I think, certainly for large enterprise, managing large enterprise uh, relationships. Uh, you can create multiple maps across here. You can see examples here. If I look at the, uh, the legal team, for example, here we go. Someone's changed, uh, changed roles and someone's here posted on, um, uh, on LinkedIn. So really useful update and sort of this is going to be more applicable for those where you're managing large complex relationships and certainly within professional services where this is part of what we ask our fee earners to uh, to do really really um helpful let me know what you think and i will keep you updated as well as to when uh, i get my hands on account iq and uh, what that does as always thanks for watching and i will see you all soon mm -hmm.